to the Quick Lane Bowl, part of Capital One Bowl Mania. And welcome to Detroit, the home of the NFC North champions, the Detroit Lions at Ford Field. When this bowl assignment went out, Bowling Green was reminded of their players' best day, 2021. They beat Minnesota. One of the worst days of the lives yeah. of some of the fans and some of the players associated with Minnesota. Now they meet up two years later in the Quick Lane Bowl. And you know what PJ Fleck had to say about it? He said, Cole is going to get a real nice wedding gift from me. And just what a story. I mean, goodness, this guy, in, you know, 20 years from now will never forget this moment. No, he won't, you know. And here's the thing. The wedding's still 40 days away. We got our first look at Connor Bazelak, who's playing in his first bowl game as the starting quarterback at Bowling Green. Yeah, it's really interesting. Bowling Green will run a two-quarterback offense, and they're very comfortable with it. And it's kind of interesting for Scott Leffler, Leffler excuse me, quarterback by trade, typically doesn't have two quarterbacks. And that Bazelak throwing on the first play of the game, and it's complete to Odu Hilaire, the guy you talked about off the open, a dynamic pass catcher. And Bazelak, more of the true drop-back passer. Orth can do a little bit of both including the run game. Here's Bazelak in the run game, and on the pitch, he sends it down the sideline with Jamal Johnson for a first down. After the gain of 17, back-to-back -back first downs for Bazelak and the Falcons. His second throw, he's taking a shot. He's got Hilaire! And Odu Hilaire with a touchdown! that's been struggling to get his legs underneath him. He's been banged up. He's become more of an underneath and intermediate threat. But the legs look fresh against P.J. Flex secondary for a 46-yard touchdown. Perfect timing. Uh, Odu Hilaire with a touchdown to get this quick lane ball started. And that's through the back for a touchback. And on his first play from scrimmage, a toss to Darius Taylor, who's back in Detroit. A breakout star before injuries this year in front of friends and family today with the first down. Wald Lake Western is where Minnesota got him from. And Kramer pitches it out for his first pass. And out to Daniel Jackson through a couple of tackles. And there goes the most exciting guy on this Minnesota offense for the first time, Daniel Jackson. And Chris Ottman Bell, who is preparing for the NFL, will not play at wide receiver. Brevin Span Ford at tight end will also not play, also preparing for the NFL draft. The second carry for Taylor, and he is met in the hole. Chopped down for Patrick Day at safety for a gate of one. Uh, much improved from last year, in large part because of the guy at the bottom of your screen, zero, Cassius Howell, the most feared pass rusher in the Mid-American Conference. And inside to Kramer, but he gets it away to Taylor, who has a first down. Kramer getting out of there in the Wildcat look with Darius Taylor as the Wildcat quarterback. And Taylor off the play fake, kept his feet, and drags a guy with him for another first down. And all with Taylor out. When they beat Iowa, they were one of the front runners to win the Big Ten West. And on the direct snap again, and he runs into Darren Anders in the middle of that Bowling Green offense, the defense. What is a Tuesday? Playing on a Tuesday? Yeah. Got Leffler and Bowling Green right at home on a Tuesday. Kramer off of the play fake. Over the middle and incomplete through the hands of Jackson. Nearly picked off. Welcome to passer. Defense number seven with a low hit. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. And with a couple guys transferring out. Here's Taylor, a powerful physical runner upended inside the 20. Really talented running back. And one of the games the Gophers wanted back. The Wildcats with a big comeback oh, they had in, that huge game. Lead in that game. And a heavy dose of Taylor back from injury on this opening drive for the Gophers. And you can see it, Dustin. It takes two, three, sometimes four guys to get him down. And on a third down from inside the red zone for Cole Kramer making his first career start at quarterback. Pressure. Off the edge, he gets it out, and that'll be short of the first down. Darius Taylor out of the backfield again. And almost every single play to start this game has gone through the guy that's in the backfield next to Cole Kramer. Darius Taylor with eight touches on this opening drive. 
On a fourth down, it's Taylor again. He has the first down, bursting through the line. And Taylor on first and goal, seeking. And he can't get much further than the three. Minnesota trying to answer the opening score with Kramer. And he's dragged down to the backfield. Joseph Sip back there to make the play. He's out near the slot on a third and goal. Kramer to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Elijah Spencer has the Gophers on the board. Committed to Maryland, went to the portal, and then Oladokun is injured, so their top two corners are out. Uh-oh, look out here. Kesic, the kicker, taking a direct snap, and Kesic looking to throw, and he jumps for the goal line. Cheeks down right at the one yard line, and the ball was a little bit short. I thought for a moment he easily could have ran this in, and he had the big tight end. After review, the ruling on the field stands. The try is no good. An impressive drive for Cole Kramer, making his first career start at quarterback. Four of four, including a touchdown. Gophers within a point after the failed two-point try. O'Connor Bazelak through the touchdown on the opening drive, flares this out, and Cody Lindenberg's all over Jamal Johnson. So it's the star of last year's bowl game, Coleman Bryson and Kerry Brown getting a shot at those safety spots. Well, Bryson's a guy in the pinstripe bowl last year. He was the MVP of that game. And Bazelak up there quick, handing off around the edge to Embry, and that's a first down. And Bazelak drills it into Hilaire, who scored the touchdown earlier, making moves on Bryson. And the quick feed of Hilaire ends up at net zero after the catch, but it looked good. Bazelak looking comfortable in his first career bowl game as the starting quarterback. He's been at Missouri, he's been at Indiana. Off of the play fake, Bays lack a little bit off target. Stretch run of this season in his final college year. Here's Fannin that first look out of the backfield, and they do get him a touch for the first time. Bundle up. On a third down, Bays lack. Goes underneath, and another completion. He's got Ty Ibrahim for a first down. A few plays ago, the first incompletion in this game, the one he tried to hit Hilaire on. More play action. Bazelak thrown the other way and over the head of everybody, including Austin Osborne, who was down there. This is a much different offense than, both, than Minnesota faced back in 2021. And they're creative with the motion on Embry, and they come underneath, and that is stuck. Tyler Stolsky, who's back in his home city today. The two quarterback system has worked for BG. And Minnesota brings pressure. It's picked up, and Bazelak over the top, incomplete for Hilaire. The top cover guy, Justin Waldy, was with the top wide receiver for Bowling Green, Odu Hilaire. Another touch for Taylor. And through the watch across the 40. You know, there were some of those questions about stamina and how much could he endure. Spencer came in motion. He had the touchdown in the first drive, and he is pops. Patrick Day making a play. Yeah, I thought we had a great plan to open up the game, and then uh, we missed an opportunity here, missed a comeback on the sideline. Uh, really need to get a stop here and get the ball back, and uh, we need to stay ahead of these guys. We need to get ahead uh, just because of their quarterback situation. So we need to find a way to uh, get a stop here, go down and score, and uh, the more we can score and keep uh, them out of their mode of running the ball and force them to throw gives us a shot. So appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Thanks a lot. The stop there is it appears the punt team is going to come on the field so Scott Leffler could be happy after that interview and the defense blow up. Well, you remember Scott Leffler was on the sideline. It was a breakthrough win two years ago against Minnesota in Minneapolis. He gave the entire program a game ball that has the score 14-10, the date, 
as a reminder of what they did that day. Something that Minnesota's hoping to shake today against the Falcons two years later. And the Crawford punt is fair caught by Embry. And Bowling Green does get that stop that Scott Leffler was just talking about. Orth doing what he does best on his first snap. Dustin, this is a guy that is from Gainesville, Florida. He's emotional. He's vocal. As much as they can. That's the first quarterback run, by the way, of the game. Now the second from Camden North. That yeah. one's going nowhere. You didn't seem down with the Tebow comparison. I mean, you know, that's pretty high praise. I mean, we'll get more of that. Orth loses the ball on his first drive at quarterback. Orth lost it. And he'll have to uncover. I think Bowling Green got it back the last second. And it will be fourth down. Bowling Green survives what would have been a first down inside the red zone for Minnesota. So Redding back to get this punt. And he'll have a shot at a return. And it won't get very far. So 55 yards to get for Cole Kramer. That plays out throughout the rest of the ballgame. And Jordan Oladokun and Jalen Husky are out, but that guy is part of replacing that gap. Davon Ferguson. And Kramer away from pressure. And Kramer, this is what he's done most of his career as a Wildcat quarterback with no fear into the second level. They're wedding 40 days away. Put that on hold to play in this game. Done with football after this. Cole Kramer. Taylor threw arm tackles and then threw a big blow at the end of it. And he has a first down for the Gophers. Black and blue, and they want to bruise you. Off of the fake to Newbin, it's Taylor. You got both those running backs in there, one that replaced the other when Taylor was injured. You've got 12 personnel with the two tight ends. A little play action bootleg. It is play action. Kramer back to the end zone, and that is incomplete with two guys down in the turf. Daniel yeah. Jackson He's got tripped up. up. It was Darius Lorfels, <laughs> a, a 5'9'8", 40-yard dash in heels, what, six years ago? That's fantastic. Big third down here. And Kramer to the back of the end zone, incomplete. So it's likely field goal time for Minnesota. To give Minnesota a lead here, it's Kessich out from dead on from 31 yards out. And Kessich hugs it in there. Now two away from the all-time record in the single season. Kramer with a, a touchdown throw to Elijah Spencer for Minnesota. And Kessich with a 31-yard field goal. As Minnesota head after Odu Hilaire had the opening drive touchdown from 44 out. And Kessich booms another one. So it's Cam Ordeth at quarterback in the last drive for Bowling Green. It'll be Connor Bazelak again, the more true passing type quarterback for the Falcons. Phrase, you know, when you've got two quarterbacks, you don't have one. Well, that hasn't been the case with the Falcons this year. Bazelak back on the field, firing to Hilaire, who makes the adjustment. He has had a ridiculous start to this bowl game. The hit to Hilaire, Bazelak right back to him in front of Wally. And he's right at the sticks near a first down. They'll mark him a yard short. And that single digit novelty. Fannin to the outside and a first down for Harold Fannin. I mean, that, that guy can do everything. He can punt the football. He can throw it about 80 yards in the air, by the way. And, and can. Oh, no. And that's swatted down. Smart play by Bazelak. Yep. Trayvon Jones was in there on the corner blitz. False start. Cedric Dunbar. And Dun Dunbar in there filling in at left guard is. Dukasi is out for this game. And they've used Jake Burns in that spot the last four games. Cedric Dunbar as well. So Tunde Fatukasi out. It's the first penalty on Bowling Green in this game. John Joyner, one of the most disruptive players in the Big Ten, is home for a sack. A chance to 
will spend some time with P.J. Fleck before today's game. And the flag is out on this third down and long with Lucian Anderson in at quarterback. We'll check on the flag. I think there was a hold here on Bowling Green. But since then, just three for eight and 39 yards, so the secondary sort of settling in here for the Gophers. Fair catch, Quinton Redding. In a long field for the Gophers, up by two. There's Taylor, who's had a busy first half. I think that speaks volumes about PJ and the culture he's built here at Minnesota. Now to the edge for Jamison Gears. He's close to the first down. We got Matt. Stolen from the, my Buckeyes. Yep, sure did. Four-star player. And coming into this recruiting class as Taylor is stuck inside the wash. Joseph Sip in there to make the play and bring up fourth down. Minnesota's played some of those games this year. The Iowa game in typical Iowa and Big Ten West fashion was 12 to 10. The next game out, it looked like they were getting ready for the new Pac-12 teams to come in before it settled back into equilibrium like this one. Kevin, thank you. Talking college football playoff. Bowling Green and Minnesota both played a common opponent in the college football playoff. Michigan. Nice play by Anthony Smith. Uh, Harold Fannin to start this drive on defense for the Gophers. A quick 75 yard touchdown drive on their opening touch. Since then, they don't even have 75 yards in their last three drives. Bazelak rolling out. Smith lost his helmet in pursuit. And that was caught along the sideline by Fatai Ibrahim. Scott Leffler want to be here third and 10 with three to go in the first half. The Collins defense showing a little pressure. They backed out of it and through coverage. That's knocked out. Way back in the day. And Quentin Redding calls for the fair catch. Off play action. Howell got there at the end and that hangs up and it's picked off. They come the other way with Darius Lorfills. And Lorfields with the biggest play of this game on defense for Bowling Green. So quick change for Connor Bazelak off of the Lorfields pick. And a chance to take a lead, and that was knocked down. Now Fannin's back in the game. That's a good sign. Top of your screen. Now they pump it out to him, and that has no chance. Snow. Bowling Green sitting on their last time out as we lined inside two minutes. Oh, that's going to be encroachment, I think. Joyner was jumping just a little bit too soon there. But a free five for Bayes Lack and Bowling Green makes it third and ten. That's the great play by Trayvon Jones out in the flat. Bayes Lack away from Joyner. Bayes Lack on the move and incomplete. To give the Falcons the lead off of the Lore Phil's pick. And Anaya cashes it in. And Anaya just gave Bowling Green their second lead of this quick lane bowl. And Lamecki Brockington takes this out for Minnesota, and he is clobbered across the 20. Jackson in there to make the hit. Ferguson up top side, dropped out of there after showing some pressure. And Kramer taking a shot into coverage and incomplete. Looking for Spencer to Sean Jones. Yeah, he had multiple Big Ten offers. Penn State. No run play now with no timeouts. Now a little more conservative here. And play clock dripping. And Kramer does get it off. It's Taylor around the ends. And Deshaun Jones with a great series there. Play and pass coverage, a couple of tackles, and there's the final timeout for Bowling Green with 34 seconds left. And this punt will come from inside the 15 for Mark Crawford. And with eight guys up at the line of scrimmage. And a couple drop out. Crawford gets it away cleanly. And fair caught for Embry. 
29 seconds to do something with it for Connor Bazelak. Again, with Minnesota getting the ball out of halftime. In the corners to sort of funnel everything in. Doesn't matter. They're just going to take an eight here. Cody Hilaire is getting a head start to the locker room. Well, I think he's just going to be in just in case something happens here. tells me he feels like if his team can just score 10 or more points they really can win this one because of the defensive battle that it has been. I asked him about his quarterback situation and he said you know what we've just been throwing the ball a lot more that's why we've been going with Basilac but they still plan to work in both guys. But how much more can he provide here here in the second half after not playing for over two months. Well, Taylor is the back. On this opening snap of the second half. And Kramer to throw. Pressure came again, and it's incomplete. That looked a lot like the interception from Moorfields. He's lined up top side in the line of scrimmage. And Taylor trying to run away from Howell, and that little burst through that hole. That was stopped up, and he exploded for the first down. And on a 100-yard game. He's eight yards away. Darius Taylor and his return is two yards away from 100. Onion, Dustin Fox, Tory Petri from Fort Field in Detroit. Towards a second down and three for Cole Kramer in this offense. And Darius Taylor just cartwheeled his way for a first down and over the century mark in yards in the day. This is his sixth college game. It's the fourth college game. He's gone over 100 yards. Barely touched the ball in the season opener against Nebraska. They found out very quickly that this guy was going to be very good. Another first down for Darius Taylor. Prolific passer at the FCS level. Play fake to Newpin, and that was knocked down. He really haven't need to, needed to with Darius Taylor playing the way that he has. Taylor out of the game at running back, and this is the first carry for Jordan Newbin. They have multiple backs that can hit you big, and Newbin with an explosive run for a first down. And Taylor patiently bouncing and hurdling his way. There are not a lot of backs that can do that. Younger brother Jordan had a carry to get the Gophers down here, but sticking with Taylor down in first and goal. And feeding Taylor. And that looked like he was headed for a tackle for a loss, and he finishes forward again down at the two. You know it's going number one. It sure is. Darius Taylor submarining, and he won't get there. He was stuck at the goal line. And tush push formation. Here comes the scrum. Kramer. Did he have enough on third down and goal? Well, the official's coming from the side. Minnesota leaving no doubt to take the lead right back out of halftime. Brigan Kesic makes it a six point game. And gets a shot at the Power Five team in this game today. A, uh, a congratulations to David Braun of the Northwestern Wildcats. They did when he called Cole Kramer. Pressure uh -oh, quickly based, in, in the face of Baseline. Uh, Stolsky, the Detroit kid, is in there again. The guy from Portage, Michigan. Egregious calls that were not called. Well, that's a tough beginning to this drive for Bowling Green. It's seen Minnesota's offense stand up since that opening drive. And it is Fannin underneath, off one tackle, but the sure arms of Cody Lindenberg there to drag him down to make a third and long. Bottom of your screen. The middle guy in the trips for Connor Bazelak on third and 11. Joiner coming from the top side. His second time. Getting home. I think Scott Leffler was very happy with Jason Patterson and pass protection there. I don't think so either. He was the running back. Here comes Quentin Redding breaking into open space and he is clobbered out of bounds. Hello. Wilson strikes him out of bounds. And Darius Taylor over 100 yards into the day and into the scrum. And they try to take a two-score lead in the quick lane ball. 
is where that Bowling Green defense needs to take away. Taylor. And that first contact didn't get him to the ground. He crawls ahead of the 20. Anthony Hawkins had the first hand on him to bring him down to the turf to make a third down. He's lined up right over Nathan Bow, the center on third down, and Darius Taylor plunges ahead. First down, Minnesota. An absolute bruising group. This is Newbin straight up the middle. And Nathan Bow, he's a guy that lives and breathes go for football. And all running out of halftime for Minnesota. Another run. Another Taylor run, and he's knocked back. Moore fills had a pick earlier. On third down, Kramer to throw it. He hits the edge, and it's a touchdown. Jamison Gears in for six for Minnesota. Moments that Paul Kramer grew up in the parks of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, dreaming of throwing spirals in the like shadows of the Minnesota Vikings. That's right. Position and then get the, the touchdown off the, the penalty and the great punt return. And the Bazelak slides down, didn't want any part of a hit from Cody Lindenberg. And they're bringing pressure almost every snap. Bazelak, plenty of time. Still time. And Strigo had the footsteps in the ear hole of Bazelak. Finally forced that out. How about the coverage downfield? Nowhere to go. GA in 2018 to call in the defense in 2023. Bazelak on a third down hits the guy that's been money for him all day. Odu Hilaire with a massive relieving some momentum maybe here. It was a 15 yard game. Another explosive catch for Odu Hilaire. And six for 119 already for OJ Hilaire. Bazelak pulls it out of the belly and runs away from Jones. And Kerry Brown ropes him after a short game. The pressure is picked up. Bazelak on another third down. It's drops. Oh, hands going to knees. There's a flag down. And potentially, you just have to hope maybe your defense can come up with the turnover. Bowling Green, one of the best in the country at doing that. Payshawn Wimberly down to check this up inside the 25. The story of patience waiting his turn five years as the quarterback for Cole Kramer. And it's turned into a really cool day for him so far. Handing off to Darius Taylor. And Kramer handing off to Taylor who shoots ahead right at the marker. And he's got another first down. On first down, Kramer hands off again. And Taylor may have just run out this third quarter. Well, Katie was bold. She was the one that actually reached out to Cole. Messaged him on Snapchat. So the tie lives on for P.J. Fleck on the Minnesota sideline. Kramer on third down. Buzzes it across the middle incomplete. That same matchup we saw down the field before. Ferguson defending Jackson. Yeah, a little surprised at that drive, Connor. You know, a couple of throws there. It's a, a fun player, a fun person, Davon Ferguson. Yeah. Sammy Luanson, who's the co-defensive coordinator, and Steve Morrison for Bowling Green. Said Davon Ferguson is from Maryland, but the way he talks and as confident as he is, you'd think he's from South Florida. Headed toward a big day on offense for Bowling Green when they went down on the first drive. Hey, Sean Wimberly has elite speed. And he's into the second level, first down. And they just got a lightning bolt after Darius Taylor and outgained him. A straight line speed guy. A surprise snap for Bazelak. And then he turns it into a little dump for Hilaire, who's run out of bounds by Jones. I was lucky that that didn't bounce off the chest and bounce somewhere funky for Bazelak. And play for second down. Bazelak escapes Joyner and Patterson can't get out of the ankle tackle of Ferguson. Of, uh, Henderson, excuse me. He got Fannin in the backfield here. He's out into the flat. Harold Fannin. Bazelak underneath, caught by Osborne. And he's cut down 
shy of the first down. But what it does is it gives him a chance now. It's going to be fourth and about three. Not whether or not to go, but what this play will be. And you got everybody up top and Fanning, Fanning, I should say, at the bottom by himself. It appears to be man coverage. Well, they're going to double him, actually. Bazelak ran into his own guy, gets it away, and Odu Hilaire right in the middle of the field. Yeah, that was right that. tackle. Fanon, he's got the best arm on the team. And it's incomplete. A lot of contact. No call. Figured that was part of the excitement. He wasn't giving that up. Wimberly had the big hitter earlier around the edge. And a touchdown for Payshawn Wimberly. That speed was killer on that drive. And Wimberly was the third back to come into the game. And all of a sudden, maybe you found something here in the fourth quarter. Number 30. I think he deserves some more carries. His touchdown made it a one-score game. Here comes Brockington. Romeki Brockington, who came back from a broken leg late in the season, looks very, very healthy out across the 50 with a 51-yard return. Well, Cole Kramer is back at quarterback for Minnesota. Now in a one-score game. And Darius Taylor, his 31st carry. They haven't thrown it much. You're right, they did on that last drive a bunch. There's Taylor out into space again, and he's clipped by Ferguson after a first down. And penetration right up the middle. There is the heart and soul of that defense. Anthony Hawkins with a big play for the Falcons. And you got five guys in the box, and Kramer throws incomplete. Looking for gears, and there's a flag out at the end. And there's the Wildcat quarterback. And faked it to Newbin, and he slithers through there, all oh, through tight spaces. He finds a way to squeeze. He had 30 plus carries in those games. Done that again today. Here's another one for Taylor, seeking the end zone. Nobody can stop Darius Taylor. 20 minutes from home today, Darius Taylor. And after all of those yards, they finally reward him with his first touchdown. Looking for a revenge win after they lost to Bowling Green two years ago. It'll also be their seventh straight bowl win. Bowling Green still with plenty of time. And they'll start with a touchback on this drive down two scores. Uh, Bowling Green, their first winning season with seven wins since 2015. No Mac wins over a Big Ten squad this year. Not just not one yet. over. Not, not just yet. one overtime. That was a that was a quadruple overtime night in uh, Bloomington, Indiana, early in the season. Facing two scores, facing a third down and seven. Bazelak protected underneath Fannin. First down, and the drive survives for the Falcons. As there is just not enough time for multiple possessions if you can't score here. Especially with the way Minnesota's been running the ball. Correct. Long ride. Bazelak flutters it out of bounds. Incomplete. Levi Gazarek out there in the flat. Probably better he didn't catch the ball when they were basically gassed on the two yard line trying to stop the Gophers. So they only have two left. Basel yeah, so, so this is definitely going to be three down territory here as Bazelak drops back to pass. Going to find Fanning again. Going to be short of the first down. And the Falcons are definitely going to have to go for this one. Cam Orth lined up as quarterback. This is the Wolfpack package they're, they're talking about here. And a timeout for Bowling Green. And the key part of that was Kyler Ball. 
Bowling Green's called their first time out of the, correction, their second time out of the half. 30 seconds. Said they'll have to run a play on fourth down and two. Keep this game going. Bazelak at quarterback. So Minnesota avoided the penalty. But with a true play call on fourth down and two, Bazelak and Hilaire convert. And Stringo had pressure from the outside. So did Joyner. And Bazelak gets it away. The middle into Fannin, who holds on. Lindenberg got a piece of that. And Fannin up the middle for a first down. Uh, but he has him inside the red zone, chasing two scores. And Bazelak retreats and benches it. And Logan Richter right at his feet. And Bazelak on second and ten. Protected again, and he throws a dart to Hilaire. The diving catch sets up first down and goal. Falcons are not going away quietly here. The final game for O.J. Hilaire of his college career. He's gone for a buck 50 and moving up front. I think they're going to get Joyner. Be the second time they got him. Say a second time. Offside, defense number 17 causing an offensive reaction. Half the distance to the goal line. First down. So this is touchdown and onside mode for Bowling Green here. Thinking ahead a little bit. Oh, no doubt. About seven yards deep. Are they going to motion him out? No, he's going to step up. Uh, Fannin into the slot. Now Hilaire motions out single side. And you got an unbalanced look. Bazelak going to the quads and incomplete. And really good discipline by the Gophers defense because what you were trying to do is get a clear out there and just try to get Hilaire right to the flat. A lot of times those things open wide. Second and goal for Bazelak. Bazelak, end zone, contact and a flag. Wally on Tillman. Take a look at number five coming across the middle, the middle of your screen. Number Pass five, interference. Well. Defense number five. By rule, the ball be placed at the two-yard line with an automatic first down. He had him hooked from behind. That's what the official, the back judge saw. And Bowling Green does have the one timeout, but inside three minutes here. And Bazelak fakes the run. Throws for Fannin. And he did not get a foot in. Trayvon Jones with great coverage for the Gophers. Play clock down to two, down to one, and they've got to use their last timeout. Bowling Green's trying to make it a one-score game on second and goal. Bazelak takes off. Bazelak churning for the goal line. Touchdown, Bowling Green. Great effort by Bazelak at the end of this run, and you had to have it. They can score another touchdown, then they could win it with a touchdown and an extra point. And here we go, six-point game, and likely an onside kick coming. No, there's no likely. <laughs> there is an onside kick coming. With how much time would they have had to score for them to kick it away? Four you, minutes or more? You got to, well, you, with no timeouts, you got to go for the onside kick. Bazelak is open for another chance. He's waited five years playing college football to be the starting quarterback in a bowl game. His final year at Mizzou, they went to a bowl, but he wasn't the guy at that point. No bowl game last year at Indiana. And then Jack Souter, the kicker for Bowling Green. And Souter's onside kick is recovered by Minnesota. They 
had the hands team out there and Corey Crooms away with it. It'll be go for football with no timeouts for Bowling Green. Well, Darius Taylor has gone for over a buck 50 on the ground. He's run for a touchdown in his homecoming to Detroit. He's the Wildcat quarterback on first down. Trying to ice the seventh straight bull win for Minnesota. And powerful punishing run again for Taylor. Out for 10 yards. Right to the first down marker for another first down. Well, now they could probably start taking these. Scott Leffler and Bowling Green were in this bowl game last year. Matt McDonald, their quarterback, was knocked out of the game early against New Mexico State. They had to come back. They had to do that in the second half today. One score short at this point. With Kramer out in the victory formation. player of the game there's no doubt about it Darius Taylor 35 rushes for over 200 yards talk about being a bell cow coming home to Detroit where you're from and just putting on a clinic here at Fort Field. Or, or 70 friends and family here today for Darius Taylor. How about Cole Kramer? What, what a day he's had. I mean, not, not the most gaudy numbers in the world, but it's just got it done. And Katie Miller's fiance kind of had a, a Catherine Webb type moment today. Capital One post game coming up on the ESPN app. Trophy presentation. There's Uncle Brent when you need him. Really? That should do it. All you quarterbacks. Well, <laughs> Cole Kramer, a, a day to remember forever. Same with Darius Taylor. The future very bright in Minnesota for the freshman running back out of Detroit. And for the seventh straight bowl game, it ends in a bath. For the head coach for Minnesota, the fifth time under P.J. Fleck. And they stay rowing to bowl game success. To coach P.J. Fleck. Coach, why don't you go over there and take hold of that trophy? Coach, you call this your season 2023 and a half. What did it mean to see this team come together and pull off the win in Detroit today? Yeah, first of all, just want to thank all of our fans for making the trip over the holiday season. Row the boats, guy, you mind, go Gophers. Great job. Uh, we, we, we named this the 2023.5 season because it wasn't last year. It's not next year. There's a lot of guys who've given up a lot for this program, have taken this program to a different level, and um, I'm really proud of them. So they worked really hard the last four weeks. We had a lot of new players playing in the game. They stepped up, which will transition them into 2024. But all the seniors and the guys with their eligibility done get to leave champions, and that was our whole goal in the last four weeks. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of a guy who is leaving as a champion, Cole Kramer started this game. The day he said he came back, that's what the whole team said, right when he got in front of the team and said, hey, listen, I'm playing in the game. And uh, we just want to thank Katie for allowing him to play in the game. Yeah, it means a lot. We all look forward to your wedding in two months. I'm sure you do. And you also had a running back who had quite the game today in his hometown of Detroit, Michigan. What did you th think of Darius's play today? Uh, he's a special, per first of all, he's a special person. I think everybody would agree with me on that. Uh, had a frustrating year with some injury here and there, but when he was in the game, all he did was, he was Big Ten Player of the Week, Big Ten Player of the Week, Big Ten Player of the Week. One of the most humble people you'll ever meet in your life. Uh, for all of his teammates, he's a special player, special person, and uh, I know he'll give credit to everybody else, the offense, defense, and special teams, but uh, we put the team on his back today. Obviously, we're going to talk to Darius here in a second. 
But we can't leave you without talking about your defense. What role did they play in this one today? Yeah, first of all, I just want to thank Danny Collins, our defensive coordinator, and Nick Monroe and Winston. We had a lot of change with our personnel, a lot of change with our staff. Those guys stepped into huge roles. Defense rallied around each other, and we did just enough to win the football game. So couldn't be, couldn't be proud of our defense and what they were able to accomplish, and uh, what a year. I mean, it's just we learned a lot. There were some highs, there were some lows, but uh, 2023.5 will leave as champions. Thank you so much, Coach. We appreciate it. Congratulations on the win. And with that, we want to introduce to you your 2023 Quick Lane Bowl MVP. That is hometown guy, Darius Taylor. What does it mean to be able to walk away as the MVP in your hometown? I mean, it's a great opportunity to play with my guys again. I mean, I was out for half the season. Um, it's a big thanks to my old line, tight ends, and receivers. Everybody was out there blocking. Even JoJo, he lead blocking for most of my carries. Me playing quarterback. So, just, just a great opportunity to play in front of my family up there. Got over 100 people here, so it was just a great day. You played high school football at Wald Lake Western just down the road from here, about 20 minutes. You've got those Detroit buffs on. What does it mean to be able to do this one right here in front of your hometown crowd? You told me you had about 100 people in the stands. Yeah. I mean, it's just a great opportunity. Like I said, I mean, it's fun to be back in my hometown, all my friends up in the stands, family. And then once again, my guys are just with me, rocking out. So congratulations on the win, Darius. We want to present you with that quick lane goal. This isn't the only thing that Minnesota is taking home today. With that, I want to introduce Derek Baristo. Da oh, sure, Darius, we've got one more message for his teammates here. Um, I've heard from the sideline that it's Coach Flex 50th win. Uh, congratulations to him, and let's keep winning. All love for their head coach. And with that, we want to be able to present Coach Fleck and this Minnesota team with another award here tonight. We're bringing on Derek Faristo from Sticker Genius. He's their director of operations. He's back here. Derek, why don't you come to the front here? Because we have got a $10,000 check for Minnesota. Lots of excited players here. This is going to go to $10,000 in custom graphics for any athletic locker room or any program here. So certainly an exciting addition to that Quick Lane Bowl trophy. Guys, congratulations, Minnesota, on your Quick Lane Bowl win. That's it here from the trophy presentation. We appreciate you guys joining us for the Quick Lane Bowl. We're going to let Minnesota celebrate this one.